What is your favorite mass of the year and why? Favorite mass of the year? It's really pretty much every day because I get to hold the body and blood of Christ every day. But Christmas and Easter are both really special for the birth of Jesus and of course the resurrection of Jesus. Those are wonderful reminder moments of uh, why we believe and why we're Christians and why we're Catholic and why we follow Jesus as his disciples. So, mm -hmm. great question, thank you. Yeah. What challenges have you had to face as Bishop of the Diocese? Well, you know, there's a number of things that happen. Part of it is the is, uh, personnel, you know, to staff our schools, to staff our parishes, to staff each of our ministries. That's part of the challenge that we have. The other is the really hearing the call of Jesus to, to make disciples, really have that be the center of who we are as, as Roman Catholic Christians and to let that be the focus. That's been a challenge, I think, for us as a church and will continue to be. So, great question. Thank you. What is it like to go to Rome and meet the Pope? It's really neat. It's really neat to, to meet the Pope, especially this Pope who called me to be a bishop. Uh, and uh, he's very down to earth. Uh, we had a chance to visit with him for a couple of hours, really, the last time I was there. Uh, a uh, very good man, a uh, very holy man, and a man that loves the church deeply, deeply, as do I. So, thank you. How and when did you become closest to God, and how did you feel? I was really about your age when I started to feel close to God and, and really begin to uh, you know, hear God in my life speaking to me. Um, and we were a family that, that prayed uh, together. We were a family that attended church together. Uh, so our f expression of our faith was important to us, for, you know, really from the beginning. Um, and then slowly but surely, I began to hear God calling me to be a priest. Uh, and that kind of grew over the years. And eventually, of course, I was ordained a priest. Uh, almost 44 years ago. Hard to believe. Yeah. Have you ever talked to God or to Jesus? So I talk to God and Jesus every day. Um, and uh, every day, God has something special to say to me. And many times it can be in the prayer forms that, that we've been teaching you. So in Lexio Divina, the Word of God, there's a special word that God has for me. And in imagination prayer, especially those moments when I really feel close to Jesus and what that particular Bible verse or story is talking about. Uh, and in Visio Divina, there's so many powerful gifts that God gives us through our vision, through being able to see God. And of course, in intercessory prayer, to be able to lift up people like yourselves to God and let God to really be a part of our our lives in a very personal way. Um, so when I was ordained, before I was ordained a priest, I, one of the questions I had was I felt like I really wasn't worthy to be a priest. I didn't feel like I had, uh, I was uh, um, able to be a priest. Uh, and, and that's recognizing my own weaknesses or faults and stuff. But while I was on retreat, you know, uh, Jesus answered me and when I asked that question, he says, it's okay, I will be there. I will be there. And that changed everything for me. And so I said yes to being a priest, and eventually to yes to being a, a, a bishop. Uh, so, yeah, good question. Thank you. Yes, sir. How did, Jesus how did Jesus perform so many miracles? I don't know how he did it, <laughs> except that he is the Son of God. Uh, and that's our faith. Uh, but that he did it is so special to us as a church. And those miracles are actually still continuing. So yes, they're in the word of God, but they're also continuing now. And those miracles are actually happening for you. Uh, it's part of what we were talking about today and 
Miss Juliana shared with you about the sunrise this morning. That is a miracle, and that God has given us another day. And God has said, I bless this day with you in it, and I love you that much that I want to give you this day. So, great question. Thank you. What are some things you have experienced that brought you closer to God? So, that's a really big question. Uh, um, you know, there's there's been uh, special moments uh, in my life. Um, but one of them actually was this morning, celebrating Mass with y'all. Um, and just the spirit of prayer among you. Uh, and that was happening both in song, but also as you spoke the prayers, as you recited the prayers. Uh, and then to be able to hold Jesus this morning in my hands uh, and to receive his body and blood in my life and to be able to share his body and blood with you was really a, a super special moment. Uh, I could go on for a long time on that one, but we'll stop there. But great question. Yeah. What is your favorite Bible story and why? Well, I have a lot of them, but, I, you know, uh, uh, John chapter 3, verse 16 is really, really special. That God so loved the world that he gave us his only son, that whoever believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. That's the center of who we are, to be with God forever, in eternal life with God forever. The joy of heaven is really the invitation we have as Christians, as followers of Jesus. So that would be the number one. And of course, Jesus instituting the Eucharist would be a big part of that too, where he, he said, take this all of you and eat the bread, take this all of you and drink the wine, for this is my body and this is my blood. Those are really special moments. So, yeah, thank you. Um, as a bishop, how do you calm yourself down when you get angry or stressed? <laughs> Good question. Uh, you know, part of it is, is uh, perspective on life. Uh, you know, that in the end it's about eternal life. And so the moment that something is happening, uh, you know, some, in some ways, who's going to remember it in a hundred years? That's one. But the other side of it is, how does it really fit into that invitation to eternal life and to God's love? And then as a bishop, how can I share God's love, even in that difficult moment, uh, when somebody may be hopping mad, you know, in my office, to still be there for them, because it's about souls in the end. And it's about souls meeting God and sharing life with God forever. That's really what it's all about. So part of it is to just stay focused on what really matters, and it's the love of God in the end that really matters. Um, so sometimes the stuff we really get frustrated with or even angry about, it, in the perspective of eternity, doesn't really have a lot to say in it. It's really not that important. So, okay. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. If we are so faithful, why do bad things happen in our lives? So, you know, um, part, of, part of life uh, is that we are really invited to find God in each moment of life and to, to see God's hand working in each moment. And sometimes it's hard to do because those are difficult moments or they're hurtful moments or they're moments and when there's an injury even. But each of those moments really are still meant to be in our relation, love relationship with God and who we are with God and who God is for us in those moments. So even in the bad moments, God's present. God's there. Uh, and there's, there is a teaching happening. And that's what I really found in my own life is that when I really think about and meditate on something that's happened that's been difficult or, or one could even describe as bad, it's really been an invitation to grow closer to God and to Jesus Christ. Sometimes it's an invitation to recognize his suffering because it's a moment of suffering for me, but sometimes it's also a moment of the resurrection to really celebrate the glory of God, God's uh, being uh, uh, saying, saying really 
death has no more power over us. So he's also saying, bad things really have no more power over us unless we give the power to the bad things. So we give the power to God, even in the bad things, but especially in the good things, both ways. Okay, so great question. Mm -hmm. I don't really have any more questions. Okay, how about yourself? Oh, well, I don't have any more. We're down to? <laughs> Which state do you most admire and why? Which state? Which state? State? Saint. 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 Sorry. I've, I've got a sinus infection, so my right ear is just totally out. So, what's saint? Well, there are a number. Um, of course, St. Louis is one, and that's my namesake, uh, the King of France, and he had a special ministry to the poor and to his family. To, to share the faith with the family. Um, both St. Peter and St. Paul are very special to us as a church. St. Peter as the first pope, but St. Paul as really the person that brought the faith to a lot of different people. Uh, and then modern day saints, of course, uh, St. Uh, Teresa of Calcutta, so we call her Mother Teresa, uh, and just her example of what it means to give your life to Christ, and especially by helping people that are really suffering at the end of their lives. So she was there for them. Um, and then Pope St. John Paul II, because he was the Pope during most of my priesthood. Uh, he served for well, two and a half decades, really, which is a long time for a Pope. Uh, and his witness, uh, and his witness of even when he was coming close to passing away and coming close to meeting Jesus in heaven, that witness was just tremendous. So those are just a couple, you know, St. Francis of Assisi, uh, 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 St. Teresa of Lisieux, St. Teresa of Avila. I can keep going, but we'll stop there. So. Um, I think that's about all my questions. All right, we're down three. Um, that's all my questions. We're down four. You got another one. I was um, St. Teresa of Lisieux for, for St. All Saints Day. For the Day. All Saints Day. Good girl. Well done. Well, excellent. Well, thank you for all your questions. Good to visit with you, and you represented your classes very well. Let me give you a blessing, and then we'll have a photo together. So, the Lord be with you. Mm -hmm. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well done, team. Yay.